Welcome back to Made Simple. Today we're going to be talking about the reorder point or ROP as it's commonly known. But before we begin, as always, subscribe and smash that like button. Please, 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 please. Reorder point or ROP is basically uh, the calculation used in knowing when to order more. So when your inventories get down to a certain level, how much do you need to order? So we're going to be talking about that. And if you've watched my two previous videos about the EOQ or economic order quantity and safety stock, that will really help you out. So the ROP can be super useful in knowing when you need to order more materials. Because it's pretty easy if you don't know when to order, you're going to run out, have stock outs, or you're just going to order too much and you're just going to have too much on hand that you don't know what to do with. So it's good to get that nice number to save money, to optimize um, efficiencies and your utilization and everything. And, and knowing this number will really help that. So the ROP is basically simply the demand during, uh, whoops, <laughs> the demand during lead time plus the safety stock. Super, super simple. In the previous video, we, we talked about um, how to calculate safety stock. So if you have any questions on that, please just refer to the previous video. Um, but we're just going to run through that real quick just so that you know where we're getting these numbers from. All right, so just throwing some numbers in here, we're just going to say 95% service level, a 10-day lead time. 95% um, service level is a 1.64 z-score. Um, this is our standard deviation demand. To get our safety stock, which is the z-score times the standard deviation demand times the square root of the lead time, to be 276 would be our safety stock. So we'll just go ahead and link those. And then all we need to know from, and now all we need to know is the demand during lead time. And that is super easy to calculate. The demand during lead time is basically the daily, the average daily demand times the lead time. So let's um, let's add another column in here, and let's just say so this will be daily demand. So daily demand, let's say. So these numbers aren't going to be 100% accurate because we're just throwing numbers in there. So daily demand and S the standard deviation demand might not be 100% accurate, but we're just going to throw throw numbers in there. So our daily demand, let's say, is um, let's just say it's 65. All right. So again, kind of going off the last videos, we're selling water bottles. Let's say we sell 65 water, stainless steel water bottles a day. So demand during lead time is basically the daily demand times the lead time. Um, so that's just our demand during the lead time. Super simple. And now for ROP, you're just going to add these two together and you get your reorder point. So the point, so this will, so your reorder point will be 926 bottles. So basically what that's saying is once your inventory levels um, reach down to 926 bottles remaining, you're going to want to order more. All right, so um, just kind of summarizing, obviously by changing your lead time, that's going to be a huge factor in changing your reorder point because if I had a two-day lead time, I'm not going to have to or I'm going to I'm not going to have to order inventory um, so early on. I can wait for my inventory levels to diminish a little bit until I need to or make that order, and that's all there is to it. Super simple. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. Please, 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 please.